Wednesday. Fear. Fear will always be there, poised and ready to wreak havoc, but we can choose whether we're going to engage with it or turn on the lights, drown it out, and crawl past it. Jen Sincero. Years ago, when our oldest son was getting ready to leave for college across the country, we were standing in his room talking about the transition when he broke down sobbing. I'll never forget Josh's words. I'm so scared. The truth is I just want to stay here with you guys and live in my room here forever. Practicing honesty this way wasn't easy for him, but it helped us all. We got a glimpse into his fear, and he didn't have to be afraid alone. While anger can be a powerful fuel to propel us towards change, fear is often a paralyzing emotion. We can feel so much fear and anxiety that we are unable to move forward and remain stuck. Fear prevents us from making decisions, from saying things we need to say, from healing and change. Fear of rejection and failure keeps us from moving forward on ideas, dreams, and intimacy. Some of us are more in touch with our fear than others. It can manifest as low-level buzzing in our heads, a high-frequency screaming that we can't get a break from, or anything in between. The words, do not be afraid, are woven throughout the stories of Jesus' birth. The angels say them to Zechariah, Joseph, Mary, and the shepherds. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have been found favor with God. An angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. When I read these passages, my first response is scoffing. Really? Is it that simple? Just don't be afraid? Because of misinterpretation of these scriptures and a failure to recognize the humanity in them, a lot of us have been taught that fear is a lack of trust in God. That if we just prayed harder or were more faithful or courageous, fear would magically dissipate. I don't think that's how it works. I always remind people that courage is doing hard things scared. The way out of fear isn't grinding down to get rid of it, but rather to acknowledge it and then consider how we can keep moving forward despite it. This season, what are you afraid of? How is fear keeping you stuck?